going to join me today. You're going to do a partner leg workout. I'm going to drop the link here and you can see it on YouTube on the big screen. Workout. I'm gonna have my partner here. We're gonna do partner leg workout. We're gonna do the same weight. We're gonna use the same weight. But what I want to explain is how you can manage to do if you only have one set of dumbbells, like we want here. Obviously, we're not in the same strength level. So, some exercise is gonna be too easy for me and harder for her, and vice versa. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, variations how you can manipulate your workouts adjusting just one set of dumbbells. So if it's too light, what you can do to make the exercise harder is too uh, heavy, then what you can, again, uh, change in your exercise or your exercise selection or your technique to make it easier or adjust the training to that. So what we're gonna do a quick, very quick warm up and then we can start, we're gonna use two dumbbells. So if you have that, use those, if not, then Get something heavy, maybe a backpack, and it's gonna serve you well as well. So, you ready? Let's do a quick warm, okay? Starting with inch warm. So, what are we gonna do? Which way? This way? Okay. Touch down with straight leg, walk out, walk up to the hands. From here, walk out, 
Walk up to the hands. And then get up, turn around. We're going to do six fingers. Good. Three more. Two more. So you should focus on your hamstring as you walk. You want to just stretch those hamstring. Really keeping your legs straight. Calf, hamstring, and you get a little bit of sweat. You're going to do some reverse lunges to keep the legs together. You can do front if you want. And then you can step back somewhere where you can hit 90 degree in the front leg, 90 in the reel. Come back, alternate legs. I like to touch my ankle so it gets some lower back activation as well. I'm gonna do 10 each leg just to bring up the heart rate a little bit. And then we're going to do some side lunges, very similar. What you're going to do is keep your leg alignment, touch the ankle, come back, switch side, do the same. Ankle, back. Six, seven. I'm not touch. No, I'm not touch. Nine. And one more. Each side. Boom. Okay. Ta. What else we have today? Squats. Let's do some squats. So you can do either hip width apart, a little bit wider, and turn your toes out if you have to. Squat down, we're gonna do prisoner. Okay, so hands up here, hold, let's squat this way. Try to keep looking forward, don't look down. You wanna really stretch your inner and your hamstring. Boom. And okay, we're gonna do one more exercise on one leg. Single leg toe touch. So from here, touch the toe, come back up. Yeah, you're gonna do 10 10 each leg. You can go. I'll just show you what I want to see from the side. It's not a straight leg bending over. You want to bend the leg a little bit. Sit back like in the skater squat. Touch. And then come back up. Okay. Bang. So you should feel it on the glutes, top of your hamstring. If you do it right. And time. Switch leg. Now from the mid, from the front, what you don't want to do is get your knee in. You want to keep it loaded up. Glutes, and then come back. Okay. I'll the other legs. Start the workout. We're gonna start with front squat, so hold the dumbbell up here, and then we're gonna do 10 repetition in the squat. 
So you're gonna use both dumbbells? Usually I do. Okay, so is she gonna use both dumbbells? I think she's gonna, gonna limit her to do 10. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same, same weight, same repetition, but I'm gonna really slow and I'm gonna pause at the butt. I'll show you in a second. You wanna start? Yeah, okay, grab the dumbbells. And then, so today's workout, we only take, only gonna take as much break as she needs to do the exercise, then I'm doing it, and then she's jumping in, so we're not gonna take extra breaks. Either one of us is gonna always gonna do the exercise. That's how you do partner workouts. So if one is working, that's the only time you have to break. Okay? Let's smash it. So get the dumbbells up and then that's what. Yeah, you wanna go around deep enough so your elbow touching your inner thighs and then come back up. Good. So if you have the flexibility. Go as deep as you can. If no, you can stick something under your heel so you can uh, you can go a little deep. Okay, drop it. So obviously it's gonna be easier for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give her more break by doing my sets longer than she does. So while she does in half minute, I'm gonna try lengthen my session up into one minute. So what I'm doing is just go very slow down, take a one second pause, and then come back up. And I really wanna focus on my glutes and hamstring, to push them out as far as I can, take a good deep break here, and then come back up. When I'm taking the break, I'm not relaxing here, right? I'm still keeping the tension on my hamstring, it's an isometric tension. And I'm going up. Holding my breath as much as I can. And you come back up. And I do one more. And time. So, what's happening here when she goes back? She had a minute break. She's going to finish earlier because she's not going to take pause. So, I only have half minute break. So, about a two or third round. I'm gonna be much more exhausted than she will be. But we're gonna be the same, kind of the same the muscle, right? We, we're using the same weight. We're just manipulating our time under tension. Because she can she can progress with the weight, but to me the weight is too easy, so I want you to do, I have to progress how much time I spent on the exercise. So you can put your heels up on your mat if you want. It's gonna elevate your heel a little bit, so you can squat deep. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can go under my knee level. So if you have poor ankle mobility like I do, then you need some elevation of your heel. Definitely getting harder. I'll make the pause. Okay. So, one thing to mention is obviously, the heavier the weight are, the more break you need to recover to be able to do the same weight for the same repetition. So, if we're doing the same repetition, for me, always it's easier. I don't have to have that long recovery time. I'll be able to do 10 again. For her, it's, it's a bit too heavy for her, so you need longer breaks. So I give, give her more break. For me, I'm doing the longer exercise. So I'm spending more time on an exercise. So I can hopefully build some muscle by keeping time on the tension and give her longer break. And she gives me this break so I can go back and really smash my legs as much as possible. Is it round three? Yeah. Round three, okay, let's go. That's getting tough now. Oh. 
Same muscle, very short breaks. Last round, we're gonna do four sets of 10 today and everything. Very simple. No breaks here. You always wanna keep your forearm as strict as possible, nice and straight. And don't let the weight go too far from the body. It's gonna go on your bicep. You wanna train the leg, not your arms. So just keep it, keep your forearm under the weight all the time. So this means not too far from the body, not too far in here. It's called the rack position. I'm gonna go back, pass it. Let's go. Get a bit here, one Mississippi, and then come back up. Go down, one Mississippi, come back up. Down, one Mississippi, come back up. Four Mississippi, five, six Mississippi. Yeah, we're gonna do side lunges just like we did in warm up. I like to do warm up similar that is gonna be in my session. So we're gonna do side lunges, we're gonna stay in the same leg for 10 and then switch leg, do 10 on the other side. Again, I'm gonna go a little uh, slower. You're gonna use two dumbbells or more? Uh, I don't know what you think. I think I usually do two. Yeah, so we're gonna do the same weight again, see how it goes. Ready? You go first. This is definitely gonna be a longer set because you're gonna use two legs. So the set is gonna be double the time as before. So it's gonna be very harsh on your cardio if you're not used to it. So you're gonna do 10 on one leg and then without break, we're gonna start with the other leg. I like to do it first on my weaker leg and then do my stronger so I have the strength and stability to do the other leg. So it's not that tired. If you do your stronger leg first and then you go to your strong leg, then, then you might have a weakness there and you cannot do the same repetition. So she's almost done. She's doing great. Now you don't have to do this deep if you if you don't have the mobility to do so. So don't hurt your lower back. You have to keep your back as straight as possible when you're doing this. And uh, I'll show you what I'm at. So if I'm here, I can go here with straight back, straight leg. I mean straight back, sorry. It's cool. Don't go lower by sacrificing your back because your hip is still too high. So what you want to do is go as low as you can with your leg, but keeping the leg, keeping your back straight, and then you stretch your glutes inside there. So you want to keep the tension on the leg, slowing the weight down, push back up. Push back up. Switch side, same thing, sit,
Okay, it's her turn now. So the difference between the two variations is I don't touch the floor in the middle, so I have to stay on one leg and I just stabilize on the top and I go back down. So I only touching the floor when I step out and I try to stabilize on the top. So I make my trail leg working as well while I'm one leg, so your glutes has to stabilize. When I step out, my other leg is, the dynamic leg is working. So I'm trying to train both legs in the same time. She's gonna make the exercise obviously way harder. So don't worry if you cannot do that. Just keep, keep doing what she's doing. Tap down on the floor, come back up, stabilize. And then just do the lunges this way. Make sure you don't step too far. She's good, so your ankle, your knee, and your hip Staying in alignment. Staying in alignment. So if you step too far, your hip is gonna be too inner inside of your foot. You wanna stack up your joints, just like you would do when it's a single leg squat with the support. Okay. Come back here. So from here, if you see this, it's way too far. So my hip is here, but my knee is out. And this is too small because my hip is farther than my, than my knee. So you want to find a sweet spot when you go down, your hip, your knee, and your ankle is in a straight line. And then come back up from there. And then you can raise your leg, so your left leg working, right leg working, left leg holds, right leg. Same on the other leg. Thank you. 